This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel today. We're gonna be playing with the 7th place winning list of the Malmo Regionals from Sweden. Uh, Magnus Patterson actually got 7 with Picaram, so Picaram is still one of the best uh, decks in the format and I'm actually glad to see it here in the top 8 of the Malmo Regionals. So uh, this is the list that we're gonna be playing with. Of course we know the attack full blitz, we're gonna try and get this off as early as possible so we can accelerate energies from the deck immediately to one of our uh, Pokemon. We have Tag Ball GX, which is an insane GX move. Not a lot of people are still running the Mew from Unbroken Bonds to stop damage done to their bench Pokemon, so uh, we can snipe 170 damage, and that can sometimes be a game-winning scenario when you can uh, target down at the Dene and knock out the active as well. So you get multiple prize cards with that GX move. We have uh, in this list, of course, Tapu Koko V. Tapu Koko V is an interesting Pokemon because, of course, it is not a GX Pokemon, which helps if you do see a deck that might run Mega Lupani and Jigglypuff, and you also have free retreat while also smacking 200 damage for only three energies the early attack uh, drawing cards is also good we have of course a lolan raichu and a raichu tag team gx this is uh, also a pokemon which has a gx move that can dish out a huge amount of damage if we have five energies in total 250 damage which uh, is actually not bad Com uh, if you combine it with of course electro power getting the one hit KOs will be easy there's three the dene in here so we're uh, heavily reliant on the dene and heavily reliant on the uh, energy switch to get of course the uh, uh, full uh, addition of the tens of the asians getting energies very quickly and then using energy switch to get attack uh, actually the full blitz off as early as your first turn if you go second uh, for consistency there's two Jirachi in here Zero Aura also provides free retreat for all of our Pokemon that have a lightning energy attached but can also come in clutch if you're up against the control uh, archetype you can use full voltage GX to get five energies back then uh, one copy of the Zapdos uh, early game pressure might be uh, f fantastic for a deck like this because with the addition of 80 extra damage you can actually use of course the uh, full blitz for a, a KO on a certain Pokemon which helps out a lot. You might uh, find it's crazy that uh, they cut the custom catchers, they opted to go for Pokemon catcher. It's a little bit luck reliant but you do have three copies of that and that does help out against those archetypes that uh, have of course Lily's Poke also with Pokemon catcher. You at least have three times uh, the uh, chance of getting a Pokemon to the active position. One great catcher and then uh, we have of course electromagnetic radar. Not every Picamaron list runs this. Typically you would see things like Tackle in this list and Guzman Hala, but they opted to go for a heavy Dedenne uh, uh, build with of course Electromagnetic Radar and uh, with of course a heavy amount of Voltner, we do have the access of Stadium Navigator to find our Thunder Mount, so if you want to get that full, uh, full Blitz off as early as possible, that is an option. Kyrax Well is in here just to block other Stadium cards from coming into play, for instance uh, the uh, Lysander Labs which might shut down our heavy amount of Big Charms, so uh, Big Charms will help out with the increasing number numbers of the HP and that helps out against Zacian in particular. So uh, this is the build that we're gonna test out. So Magnus Patterson, uh, huge uh, congratulations for coming 7th at the Malmo Regionals. Let's check out what Picaram is all about in this video. So I'm calling the deck Picaram Malmo <laughs> because uh, this is the list that is uh, relying on the Dene. We also have of course the other Picaram which is also on the channel. If you want to see how the tackle engine works with Guzman, Hala and all that, it should be uh, on, the, yeah, on the channel as well. Definitely find it there. And uh, now we're up against probably Firebox. What do we typically do against the Firebox? Maybe it could also be Baby Blacephalon, we'll see. Uh, Tails never fails, of course. We're gonna go first. We get the first turn attachment on the Picaram, and we should be golden from there on on. We start with Jirachi, which is a fantastic starter. We have a quick ball. We even have Thunder Mountain in uh, the hand. So we don't have an energy just yet. We could go for the Dede, but uh, then we throw away our Thunder Mountain. So I won't, don't want to do that. Okay, no attachment of the turn. We do have Thunder Mountain. So we might as well get Coco Prism Star up and rolling. That is actually not a bad idea. We also have Energy Switch now that I think about it. So. Uh, yeah. Okay, we can also go, instead of going for Voltner, which we uh, are not gonna do, we can also go for uh, maybe finding something with Jirachi. Fion could be coming helpful in a certain scenario. Uh, I'm actually gonna go for Quick Ball. And we are gonna get rid of... I don't wanna get rid of the Voltner just yet. I'm gonna get rid of 
Fionn. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna need Fionn, but uh, in this scenario, I'm uh, happier to getting out this Coco Prison immediately. Yeah, as well as a Pika Ram. I think that is the best plan of action here. We could have, of course, the switch already. But we have multiple switches and we even have zero aura and energy switch. So zero aura is also in the list. So we're gonna go with Pika, Chu and Zekrom. Immediately getting that out of the deck. We have Thunder Mountain, so uh, we can even smack with a Zapdos if need be. Okay, this is what I wanted, the research. This research might come in handy here. So uh, instead of us using Voltner, we can actually go for the research so we have more cards. We can smack down the Thunder Mountain. We even have energy switch, so we'll see how we go from there on on. So uh, the bad thing is that we didn't have an energy of the turn. We could have gone for the Dene, but throwing away our Thunder Mount is something I don't want to do just yet. Uh, we'll see how it uh, develops. So we also have another energy switch in the list. So even if we have to get rid of one, it will still be okay. We have the attachment of the turn. We can go for Coco Prism and the Thunder Mountain. So the only thing we'll need is like discarding uh, one card and we do have Electromagnetic Raider. So even if we get stuff like, uh, for instance, a Lightning Energy in the hand, we only need a Quick Ball or Electromagnetic Raider to get rid of that Lightning Energy to then use the Dance of the Ancients. So I think we're gonna get a fir first turn full blitz up, or actually a second turn full blitz. And if we get Electro Power, we can even one-shot the Blacephalon Jax. I wonder if this is Baby Blanche, or uh, I do think so. We do see Jirachi, we don't see Poipol or anything for that matter. So he starts with Blacephalon GX. He could go for Burst GX immediately, getting one prize card, but that already gets rid of his GX move. Maybe he has a Welder. Uh, with the Welder, he could actually one-shot our Jirachi, which might be very scary, but we do have a great hand. So we have Energy Switch and all that. I would love if our Jirachi stays alive, but we'll see what the opponent does. He might like switch to Jirachi, use Stellar Rage and all that. Going for Quick Ball. We do see Lucky X, so this is probably uh, Stefan Ivanov's list, which we checked out yesterday. The fifth place winning list. Of course, relying on, okay, Absol. Ooh, we got rid of Switch, which is uh, not too good. Litter does he know that we can have Zero Aura to provide free retreat for us. So we can go for Volkner. Hmm. If we use Volkner, we get an energy. Hmm. Okay. He's just having his lone Blacephalon and then here comes the Fiery Flint. Getting rid of energy retrieval and fire energy. So we do see that it's Baby Blacephalon. The bad news is that he has, of course, uh, one prizer which can uptrade on us. So one energy that's not a welder. So that means probably burst GX if I had to guess. And that means that our Jirachi will stay alive. Okay, fantastic. Okay, no energy. Getting rid of a fire crystal is also uh, much appreciated. So we have a Raichu which we can uh, use to paralyze. So we can smack down Thunder Mountain. We only need uh, energies at this point. So I think. Going for the research is probably better. We can also have a Dedani afterwards. So we need to get that full blitz off. Also getting one Electro Power will be fantastic. We have Switch Card, which is fantastic. We have another Quick Ball to find the Dedani. Okay. Great Catcher is something we will not need, I presume. So gonna go for Quick Ball, getting rid of this. Finding a Dedani for now. Ta-ta. We do have Switch, so uh, we're gonna go crazy. Getting rid of uh, the tax switch for now. I don't know if that was the best plan of action, but we need stuff. We can go for Electro, Tapu Coco, or a Pika Ram. Either way, I'm gonna get another Pika Ram. We do have big charms. Also, uh, Zapdos can smack with the Thunder Mountain if we want to. Full Blitzing is probably better. This and that. First things first, do we Stellar Wish at this point? We don't have an energy just yet. We could Stellar Wish finding another switch card. So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna smack everything down. We can uh, make space with, of course, Coco. So, here goes the Dene. Do we find energies? Okay, we find an energy. We find only one, though, which is very sad. Electromagnetic radar. Okay, only one energy. That is very sad. Where are our energies? Crazy scenario. Stellar Wish finding Electro Power. At least that is good. Okay, what else? In attach of the turn. It's so sad. We cannot get the KO here. Could go for the Dene and using the Static Shock here. Already smacking some damage on this guy, but nah, that's not gonna work out. 
Yeah, it's just gonna be energy to pick around. Uh, we could switch. Ah, so sad. What is happening with our hands? We could go for electromagnetic radar, tuning out the list, but maybe we use Pokemon Catcher. He doesn't seem to have like good stuff. Maybe he's gonna be stuck with his Absol afterwards. Although if he attacks us, we get like multiple prize cards as well. Yeah, just gonna leave it as it is. Just gonna leave it as it is. Next turn, we hopefully will get energies. We are already like through half of our deck and whiffing on so many energies. We do have Thunder Mountain, but as soon as Thunder Mountain disappears, it's gonna be <laughs> very terrible because uh, yeah, we'll see. This guy does run Stadium Navigator, does run Ultra Space, and also has access to the Heat Factory. So I wonder if he's gonna be stuck. Already uh, got rid of Fiery Flint, Fire Crystal, Energy Retrieval. He could go from uh, the Mind Blown and already get another prize card, which will help him out a huge amount in the prize trade. Energy going from Mind Blown, presumably. He could retreat to Jirachi, but we do have Pokemon Catcher. We can target him down. Typically, Picaram gets a first turn full, or actually a second turn full Blitz Bot. In this video, we actually whiff on so many energies, it's unreal. There's 11 energies in the list. Okay, Bursting Burn? Whoa. That is not what I expected at all. Okay. Very bizarre, but I'll take it. So, energy on the Picaram. We can still rely on Thunder Mountain, which is fantastic. I'm gonna go for the Volkner. Finding Big Charm and an Energy. We don't need to reset stamp this guy, so let's get those. Hopefully that'll be enough. So uh, Big Charm over here. We switch, we can actually still rely on Stellar Wish now that I think about it. Okay, a Research or a Pokemon Catcher. Already have a Pokemon Catcher, just gonna get that Research into the hand. Switching to the Picaram with a huge amount of HP. Will he get a Blacephalon, Welder and a, Fur and a KO? Will that be the case? Just to keep ourselves safe, we're just gonna full blitz onto the bench Picaram. I think that's the safest play. Also, with Electro Power, we get the one hit KO, which is good. So, full blitz, KO, while also getting three energies onto our main guy. There's still three more in there, so. Three, one, two, three. We attach up the turn and we have Coco as well. Okay, here is an energy. And there's a Dedenne. Okay, fine. Will he be able to one hit KO or peek around with 270 HP? That means he will need six energies. He will need a welder and he will need six energies in the hand. He has quick ball. I wonder why he did not KO our Jirachi. I wonder if he would have KO'd it, he would have actually gotten an extra prize card and that would have made life a little bit easier for him. Although KOing a Picaram and KOing a Dedenne is the same scenario. He gets out Oracorio. that is fantastic. That is something we can snipe with Tag Ball GX. It does have 170 HP. I wonder if we should have like used the full blitz onto ourselves, but I wanted to keep it safe. If we KO something else, this guy can come in clutch and uh, start using Tag Ball. So either way, I think we're fine. It's the safest play. I know we got rid of all of our switching cards. We have Tag Switch and both of our energy switches already in the discard pile. But if uh, the uh, Thunder Mountain stays in play, we are already threatening with, of course, this Picaram as well. There comes Blacephalon, and he is still asleep. Ooh, this is great. This is two Pokemon catchers. Ooh, two Pokemon catchers will be fantastic. So, in this scenario, I think we just need to set up... Uh, maybe he has Mew in the list, although I don't think so. We could attach on this Picaram and full Bliss onto this guy. Three energies on the bench one is probably better. Uh, maybe we can knock out this Blacephalon. Okay, cool. Knocking out the tread before it gets uh, ready. We're gonna attach three energies over there, one over here. So we have two treads with Tag Ball GX to win this game. That's why uh, we are so fantastic with Picaram. So full Blitz. Okay, three energies again. Uh, we are gonna get them to the bench Pokemon. Okay, there's a Picaram in the back waiting to just win the game with Tag Ball GX. We have Electra Power, we have Pokemon Catcher. 
So he doesn't seem to have an attacker just yet. There's uh, five energies in his discard pile, so he, again, he needs to get his Jirachi out of the active position. He will need to have a Welder, and of course, have six remaining energies in the hand in order to one-shot this Picaram. If he doesn't do that, this guy, even if he, he KOs this guy, we have this guy waiting in the back. And uh, with, of course, our uh, strategy here, he still needs to Gust, knock this out. He needs a lot of stuff, and I think this list only runs one Great Catcher at max. If he doesn't gust this guy, we just tag Bolt for game. That's how he goes. So that's why Picaram is still powerful, even though we only got it off on the third turn. If he can get a full Blitz off on the second turn, or the first turn if you go second, that's even better. So Picaram still doing the best stuff in the world, and that is just to be aggressive, as aggressive as possible. And in this scenario, I know all of our energies are almost in play. We still have access to Coco Prism Star, so don't forget that. You can always like attach of the turn and start with attacking with Tokoko V out of nowhere if we need be. So he has uh, one uh, Blacephalon ready. Will he be able to attach and get six energies in the hand as well? We'll see. Five in the discard. So uh, there's also energy retrieval in the discard pile and fire crystal, which means uh, in total there's seven energies. That means there is a capability of him using fiery flint. Uh, he needs Fire Flint and a way to get energies back in order to one hit KO. Also, he needs to get rid of Thunder Mountain or he's done for. Okay, switch. Will he have six energies? Fire Crystals? Maybe. He could have the KO, but then Tag Bolt GX takes the game by knocking out Oracorio as well as Blastophalon. I think we are in a checkmate position. I would love to include another energy switch in this list, but uh, you'll have to find room for that. Also, what are the chances of you like discarding it early game every single uh, yeah round you play? Here comes a fiery flint. He does have a elite promo as well. Cool. Four energies coming onto uh, this uh, opponent's hand and a uh, fire crystal as well. So you know how Babe Blacephalon works in this scenario. We are, he's just gonna go and clutch, go crazy, and uh, fireball circus throwing away six energies. So. A one prizer being able to uptrade very nicely. So these big charms do help out a lot. And seeing as uh, yeah, we have the game in hand, we are just gonna say, well played after we promote. I want to use that tag bolt GX before he concedes. So well played and uh, let's do it. Tag bolt GX. Yeah, we've taken down Oracorio. Dang, that's how we do it. So Picaram winning the first game of this video. Big, there was one big charm prize, cool. We're gonna play one more game for you guys, so uh, you'll see what the true power is. Maybe we come across uh, a tag team deck like, let's say, ADP. That would be fantastic to showcase that Picaram can outspeed ADP at certain scenarios, and uh, we are up against ADP, which is fantastic, just what I wanted. If we don't win, it's fine either way. It's a good deck, check it out for yourself. We want the coin flip, we wanna go first, because uh, we don't want that first turn attachment onto the ADP, so in this scenario, we already have Coco, we can attach on Picaram, and we have Thunder Mountain in the hand. Wow, that's, uh, that's actually busted. So, yeah, if we top deck like a good supporter or, uh, yeah, whatever it is, it's gonna be good. Maybe we should have promoted Tapu Coco Prism Star now that I think about it. Okay, we got a Mulligan, so you could like attach Retreat to Jirachi if you like top deck a Jirachi, but we do also have things like Zero Aura and Electromagnetic Reader. What's the chance of it with this mulligan and the draw of the turn that we uh, whiff on everything? Okay, we do have the energy of the turn. So we get smack this down, get the big charm. Uh, do we smack down Kyrex? Well, <laughs> hell no. We have Stadium Navigator, but we have all our stadiums in the hand. I don't think he can. he's able to dunk us at this point. He could go for Zation and uh, all that stuff. Maybe he runs Fion, so I'm not gonna smack down the Coco Prism just yet, but... Who is able to smack 270 with a Zation? Nobody. So at least either way we survive, we're gonna be able to full blitz. Also our hand is terrible. Maybe he says like, uh, wow, well, just attach up the turn and pass. Seems like a good deal for the Picaron player. Because that's the only thing you want, right? And we have a Thunder Mountain in hand, so we don't even need to use Stadium Navigator. And uh, at this point we can just use full blitz on our... Uh, Second turn, and hopefully that is enough to win ourselves some games. He could be playing the Tord Reckliff. Yeah, he's probably playing the Tord Reckliff list with Cherish Balls and uh, lots of uh, consistency. Okay, already Water Energy on the ADP. Gets me a little bit scared, but it is what it is. We're gonna be smacking down Kyrex well uh, very shortly, so uh, Life Center Labs will not uh, destroy our setup. He, we are still having uh, one extra turn because he is uh, just having energy on the ADP. 
Rangor is also in play, using Primate Wisdom, swapping the top card of the deck with one of the cards in their hand. It's fine as it is, as long as this guy stays in the active, I'll be glad. Also, we need three Electra Powers to one-hit KO this uh, yeah, Interpretor, so busted. Hopefully no energies. Okay, that's no energies, that's good for us, so here we go. We are gonna smack down this, we're gonna, yeah, use Thunder Mountain. Also, we need to use... Do we smack this down? Will he have... Yeah, he will not be able to one-hit KO either way. Even if he gets all the energies on his Zacian, he's only smacking 210 thanks to resistance. So, no need of extra benching these guys just yet. Just gonna go loco and go for the full blitz. Probably, hopefully he doesn't have an answer. I don't want him fioning us. That's why uh, we are doing this. Two custom catchers in the discard pile. Oof. Don't want to get dunk, but I don't think he's gonna be able to do that either way. So, full blitz, full blitz action, thinning out the deck, three energies onto our peak around. Okay, what now? What now, man? We are ready to threaten tag bolt GX. You have the Danny on your field, you have this guy we can Fion for four prize cards, and then we just need to take down this Zacian, which is not the hardest part in the world. We have Electro Powers and Tapu Coco V. And we can even still use Coco Prism. So we start with all the Prism car Star cards in our hand with no supporters. Okay, this Marty is fantastic because our hand was garbage. It was garbage. Thank you very much. Now we have Jirachi and Switch. So, and we can even use the uh, Zera Aura here. Only smacking 160 though. Don't know if that's the best plan. Don't know if that is the best plan. We could smack down Jirachi at least, so uh, there's that. Although I don't want to full bits on myself anymore. Will he be able to uh, get rid of our Thunder Mountain? We do have an energy in hand, which is good. So we can at least take multiple prize cards. Okay, switches. The ADP is in action. We can actually knock out an ADP. Uh, actually knock out a Zacian and uh, put some damage onto this uh, other dude. Jirachi. We can full blitz on Zera Aura. We have energy switches. Might as well do that. Although Zera Aura can be easily one-shotted. While these guys do have it a little bit easier. Ugh, this is insane. I don't know what to do at this point. Because we do have the big charm. He might have Shrine of Punishment. Now that I think about it. He smacks 260, 240. Uh, I think we're still good for now. I don't want to smack down the Zera Aura. Although... We have some Zero Aura, we can retreat to Jirachi and then have a supporter. Maybe that is not a bad idea. We can free retreat, thanks to the uh, ability, and then we go for Stellarish, finding a supporter. Great Catcher, oof. We can Great Catcher onto uh, the, the Dene, and then we knock out 170, yeah, we can, or we can get the Research. Getting four prize cards, or yeah, we can do that later as well. Tag bolt, at least getting some pressure on there. So I think I'm gonna go for the research. So we can full blitz onto something else. Maybe that's the better plan. So we switch again to uh, the Picaram. Ta ta! And now we use the research. Don't wanna attach the energy to this as our aura. Wow, look at all these Electra powers. Insane. Calyx well is gonna be for later. Ex here goes that card. Woo. Scary, right? We can full blitz again. Full blitzing again and then tag bolting later. Or we tag bolt right now and then use gust. We do have great catcher in the list. Our Pokemon will not go down easily. So for now, I think tag bolt is the best plan. So we take prize cards. Yeah, 170 damage. Uh, yeah, we either take out the Dedenne or we take out the Zacian. Take, taking out the Zacian is fine. Okay, two prize cards, a Zapdos, and a Coco V. Okay, I want to actually f uh, use that uh, full blitz on the Coco V now that I think about it. Shrine is in play, no. Okay, Shrine will get damage, but only one uh, damage counter. That means Chaotic Swell can come and play again, and that means he can no longer smack down another Shrine, which means that Picaram will stay alive, I think. Okay, he's just gonna go for the Ultimate Ray. 
that means if he goes for ultimate ray, we can KO this Arceus Dialgaptalkia, which is totally fine by me. Acrobike, even Zapdos can KO this uh, <laughs> Arceus Dialgaptalkia. Oh, we have three electric powers, that's insane. I think at this point, if we find, yeah, we have Voltner, so we can use Great Catcher. Actually, I just want to KO the active at this point, so Zapdos KOs the Arceus Dialgapalkia and then uh, Coco V. Actually, we need to use Full Blitz at this point, so we set up the other Pokemon so to, to KO the Dene. Yeah, I think that's fine. So a lot of stuff going on. We do say that Zacian is not ready to attack just yet, and uh, Shrine will only take one damage counter, but also one damage counter on the Dene. So we can actually full blitz KOing the Dene if we want to. So Ultimate Ray, we take that like a champ easily. Whoop! Here goes the energy to the Zacian. Shrine takes on all the GXs in play. We don't mind that at all. We could attack with Zapdos now that I think about it. Attacking with Zapdos or full blitzing, either way, that looks fine. How many custom catchers in this discard pile? Two custom catchers and a great catcher. At this point, I'm just fine attacking with a Zapdos. Yeah, although taking into account that we get two targets, Voltner can then be used to our full potential. Yeah, using that. The swell goes down. Might as well smack down the Zapdos if he doesn't use things like Barney. Uh, we can f attach up the turn here. And then we have all these cards in the hand, it's insane. Don't even need to use these guys, just full blitz. And uh, get our other Pokemon ready. Uh, might as well get three energies. I know it seems like a lot, but we only need one attacker to finish the game. And we send out the deck either way. Could have also smacked down the speaker on, but I don't want him getting stuck. So, yep. The only thing we will need is Great Catcher to finish this game. Or a Pokemon Catcher landing successfully. Okay, one card. He's probably going to stamp us to one card. If he, uh, We do have Jirachi on a skateboard, so I'm not uh, too afraid of that scenario. Primate Wisdom. So, Picaram is actually very, very quick. Even against Zacian ADP. And uh, we also up, up against like uh, Baby Blasaflon, so the big charms do help. And with Kyotic Swell, Shrine is not coming in play anymore. Tapu, Koku, v, Tapu Koku V can easily one shot. Okay, Brave Blade. And uh, actually, Tapu Koku V will take this game with a bazillion amount of Electro Powers. Okay, we can go for the Catcher on the Dennis. So the list has everything that it needed. So uh, we can even go and KOing the Jirachi with a Zapdos. I'm actually wondering if uh, we can do that, so uh, we don't expose our uh, full power with Electro Power. We're just gonna go for Pokemon Catcher. Ah, uh, it fails. Well, in this scenario, I'm fine using Voltner for another Pokemon Catcher. Uh, yeah, we can reset stamp if we want to. We even have Dex, which is not that it matters too much. Yeah, we don't have any energies anymore, so Pokemon Catcher. I want to try this again. I want Zapdos to eat up that Jirachi. That's why it's in here, right? All right, get over here. Well played. Here comes Zapdos, the best card in the format. Retreat. Zapdos eating up Jirachi. That's how it goes. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video of Picaram, the updated list from Magnus Patterson. He is a fantastic player and uh, Picaram is still the top deck in town. Yeah, even with all these Zacian ADPs, you can win against them as seen in this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content on this channel and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Peace out.